Hi there, this is a demonstration of what is called a potometer. A potometer is a device that you can use to demonstrate and to measure transpiration. This experiment is a key specified prac in the WJEC triple science course or the biology course for GCSE, but it may be useful for other exam boards as well. Now you may have seen a potometer before, you can have very large potometers, normally like big wooden block base uh, with uh, a very large graduated cylinder or pipe as part of it. Uh, this is a smaller version of that apparatus, but it will do the same thing. What I'm going to go through today are the different parts of the potometer, how you can set it up, how you can then set it going to see the rate of transpiration for a plant, and then a few ways that you could change the conditions of the plant to alter the rate of transpiration. So you may well know by now that transpiration is the way that plants get water from the roots up through their stems to their leaves. What we are relying on is water evaporating from the leaves, which then pulls more water into the leaf from the stem. And as that water moves up, more water is drawn in from the roots and then water is drawn into the roots. Mm. It's all relying on the cohesive property of water, what's called water tension. The reason that you can form these big droplets of water, it likes to stick to itself rather than spread out and disperse. So in a potometer, what you generally have is a place where you can put uh, a leaf or part of a plant, what's called a reservoir, which is used to refill or reset the potometer after use, and then some sort of graduation. So here I've got some numbers at the side which can tell us how much water is being evaporated out from the plant. I'm gonna go ahead and put some water in this because being uh, made of clear pipes, it doesn't really show what's going to happen. And I'm going to use some uh, blue colored water, water with blue food coloring, so you can see the passage of the water a little bit easier. Okay, so hopefully it's more obvious that you can see what's happening now with the blue liquid, the blue water, inside this potometer. We're going to put our leaf or our stem of our plant in this opening in the pipe. That pipe essentially just then goes all the way down, all the way around, and back up again. Okay, as it goes back up again, it passes this graduation. So if any water evaporates from this entrance here, the water will get sucked up from the pipe, sucked from over here, sucked down here, and through here. So what we should see is the water level here going down as the water evaporates from this point, okay? This syringe here is then filled with blue liquid. That's just to reset it. It's called the reservoir. It's just to reset it when we want to do a second reading. The best thing is probably just to show you it in action. So I'm going to place a leaf with a bit of stem inside the top tube. What we're hoping is that it is going to draw the water up through the stem into the leaf as water evaporates off the leaf. So to demonstrate that, we're going to fill this completely to the top. But then there's a problem with this experiment in that this opening for the pipe is quite wide. Water could just evaporate off it naturally. So we're going to put a dab of Vaseline around the stem of this leaf to prevent any water evaporating directly from the pipe. Therefore, any water that does evaporate off has to have traveled through into the leaf and evaporate out of the leaf first. The other important part of this experiment that may cause problems is if there is any leak at any point, if any water can leave from any of the connections from the syringe, then this is not going to be an accurate experiment. I do unfortunately have an extremely slow leak here. I did this experiment last week with a different syringe and a bigger leak. I've got a new syringe, I still, still have a very small leak, but I'm sure it's not going to have a huge effect on our results. I think the best thing to do is leave this to run for five or ten minutes and see what happens to the water level on this side of the pipe. Remember that as water evaporates from the leaf here it will draw water up the stem because of water tension. That water will come from this part of the pipe here which is naturally connected up to this part of the pipe there so this water level should go down. <laughs> Of course, using a potometer like this doesn't just demonstrate that transpiration happens, you can also use it to show how you can speed up 
or slow down transpiration. For example, if you use a hair dryer to blow air across the top of the leaf, as that water in the air is wicked away by the hot hair dryer, what you should see is more evaporation from the leaf and therefore this water level should go down faster. However, you can also slow down transpiration. Water primarily comes from stomata on the underside of the leaf. If you were to cover the underside of the leaf with Vaseline, say, or sellotape, or nail varnish even, what you can do is close up those stomatas and make it harder for the leaf to undergo transpiration. It can't get rid of the water and therefore it's not going to suck as much up and therefore this water level should drop a lot slower. I hope it's been helpful for you to see exactly how that piece of equipment might work. For the WJEC GCSC Triple Science Biology course, it is necessary to know the different parts of the apparatus and what it shows. So I do hope it's been helpful. Thank you very much for watching.